Okay, this is a basic tutorial on how to get Stepmania 4 installed and working on a Mac. So basically, in my downloads folder here, I've got a build of the latest version of Stepmania 4. It's not finalized yet, so this is you know a work in progress, but I've used it and it's working fine without any problems whatsoever. Um, I've also got a song pack here I've downloaded. You can see the notice extension here, .smzip. I'll explain that in a little while. And I've also downloaded uh, a new note skin for the game because basically the, the default one's a bit poo to be honest so I'm going to double click and mount the disk image it's going to give me a window here containing the files um, I'm just going to create a folder here I'm going to keep the game I'm just going to call it step mania I'm going to copy the application from the mounted disk image into the step mania folder I close that um, I'm going to create a folder in here called songs this folder is where any songs have got to be placed for, for the application there to, to recognize them. If you've used an older version of Stepmania and you've got existing songs, simply look in the songs folder from the old version because there was an actual folder created. Copy the songs from there and move them to the to this one we've just created and then Stepmania will recognize them. If you're new to Stepmania and you've um, downloaded perhaps a song pack, Notice the smzip extension I mentioned earlier. Simply remove the sm part from it. Tell it to use zip. Double click and expand that zip file. Open the folder. Inside the folder here, we've got it's actually got a songs folder created. Um, this is actually a well packaged one because we've got the the title of the the set of songs and the actual songs themselves. So we're just going to copy that into the songs folder. Some of the song packs that you download have several sort of depths of folder. What you want to make sure is you copy the, the folder that contains the songs, not any folders before that, into the songs folder, otherwise it won't recognize them. Okay, so that's that. And it's pretty much the same thing with note skins. Create a folder called note skins. Inside here I'm going to create a folder called dance, because I think you can have different note skins, one for dance, one for pump. Not entirely sure, but this is what's worked for me. So I'm now going to expand my note skin. Just make sure it's containing the actual files, which it does. And I'm going to copy that into there. And now when you launch Step Mania, it should recognize all your songs. And under your options, you'll be able to select the new note skin.